Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to talk all about the mug press. So I'm going to answer the top 20 questions, the most asked questions about the new Cricut mug press. So in my last video, I unboxed the mug press and we did our very first project with it. So if you've not seen that yet, make sure you hop up and go check that out. But today we're just going to go through all the Q and A that you need to know before you get your Cricut mug press. Okay. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. Let's go. Okay, so first and foremost, what is the Cricut Mug Press? It is a heat press for mugs. So if you love making mugs, but you don't love the vinyl falling off of it in the dishwasher, or you don't like having to wash them by hand, you don't love all those things about vinyl, this is the product for you. So it is a heat press. Think sublimation. So if you know what sublimation is, basically you're baking that ink right into the mug. So it's permanent. It's forever. So that is what the Cricut Mug Press does. It literally presses or heats ink into the mug. So who is the Mug Press for? So like what crafter, what kind of crafter wants to buy the Mug Press? This is for people who love to make mugs, um, but they don't like the vinyl, you know, falling away from the mug um, or, you know, having to hand wash the mugs. This is for you. It's also for those who love to give. You like, if you like giving gifts at all the holidays and all the occasions um, and you love to make mugs, this is for you. And, and this is for the crafting professional who wants to make mugs as a business. So if you want to make mugs and you ship those out and you give those to customers, this is the product for you because it's permanent. Like you're never going to have to worry about vinyl falling away from your mugs ever again. What about blanks for your Cricut mug press? Cricut has two sizes. They have a 15 ounce and a 12 ounce and they come in packs of two. And if you wanted to make more, you know, like if you were doing a, a gifting or something like that, you can get them in sets of six. Now they do actually sell them in even larger bundles um, if you wanted to get that on the Cricut.com site. So what type of ink do I use with the Cricut Mug Press? So you'll be using Cricut Infusible ink. It comes in sheets. It's no mess, no fuss, so you can just put that right into your Cricut Joy, your Cricut Explorer, or your Maker, and cut the design that you want, and then you will apply it to your mug. So Cricut Infusible Ink, if you've not used it before, it's really simple, um, and I'll link a, a video up above so you can check that out. So Cricut did this um, for convenience. So they made these smaller sizes of Cricut infusible ink. So if you've used it before, it comes in a tall piece, um, a lot like you would find, you know, your HTV, your iron on, but these are actually cut to size for the Cricut mug press. Now these are convenient, but you don't have to use these. So if you already have infusible ink that you're using with other things, absolutely. You can cut that down and use those for your mugs too. So do I have to use butcher paper with my Cricut mug press? So if you have worked with infusible ink before, you know that those tall sets of um, the 12 inch sheet, they come with butcher paper already in the kit. Now the small ones that are made specifically for mug press do not come with butcher paper. And the reason for that is, is that the template is, you know, securing around your design on the mug when it goes into the mug press. And so you don't have to worry about bleed. Now, that said, you do need to use butcher paper when you're using the Cricut Infusible Ink pens because when you do that, you're putting those pens on copy paper, remember? So if you've used those pens before, um, it's not actually something that you are cutting out on the machine. What you're doing is you're writing on paper and then you are wrapping that around your mug or your shirt or whatever you're using it on, but you're putting that onto the mug and then you want to protect your machine and anything else by putting the um, three layers, three layers of butcher paper around that and putting it into the machine so that you don't have any bleed. 
So does Cricut Design Space have a lot of templates to make mugs with? Oh, do they have templates. They have some really creative and fun templates for you to use and they have templates that are blank, meaning you can create and make them anything you want them to be. So like the flooded mugs have um, scallops and straight edges and torn edges and all these different kind of edges that you can use. And then there, again, there's just a lot of pre-made ones. Um, if you know anything about the joy cards, you know how there's a ton of different joy card templates. You can kind of make the ones in Cricut Design Space or you can make your own. They've done the same thing with this. So there's tons of different mugs that you can make um, without making any modifications to them and then there's the template so you can make all your own. Okay some people have wondered do I have to make flooded mugs meaning do I have to wrap you know infusible ink around it and have like a, the whole mug be a color um, with the design knocked out so you can see the white of the mug you know behind it no so you can take cuts so like if you cut out a bear or something like that or cut out you know mama bear the words and then the shape of a bear you can attach that to the mug without um, the flooded background and then just infuse that into the mug so you don't have to flood the whole mug with color you can have a white mug with a design on it Okay, so in the instructions, it tells you to use the Cricut heat guide. And I've had a lot of people say like, well, why do I have to use a heat guide? Because there's only one button. And why would I have to, you know, look at the heat um, for this? Well, it's really a reference guide. So for instance, on the heat guide, it's gonna tell you um, if you need to use butcher block paper. It's also going to tell you um, how long to let it set and how long to let it cool. So it's kind of more of a reminder um, when you're using the heat guide. So it's not gonna tell you to set it to 400 degrees or anything like that because the machine's gonna do all of that for you, but it is a great reminder. So make sure you give it a whirl. Okay, so is the mug hot? And can I touch it? Am I gonna be able to craft with this or do I have to have an oven mitt or something like that? So no, you don't. So the beauty of this machine is that it's safe. So the mug itself does get very, very hot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the mug gets 400 degrees or it gets, you know, the process is 400 degrees. Um, but no, you don't have to use any of that kind of thing because what they've done is the handle of the mug never gets hot. So all of the heat stays on the mug piece itself and the handle sticks out. So when you take the mug out of the heat press when it's done and you let it rest, you can actually pick it up with a bare hand um, and move it to a mat for it to cool. Now the next question is, do I have to use a Cricut heat, heat pad? And the reason that they recommend that you use a Cricut heat pad is because that mug is very, very hot and you don't just want to set that down on any surface. So I would say if you already have a Cricut Easy Press and you have an Easy Press, you know, the heat mat, then go ahead and use that. If you don't have one, just make sure you take like a towel um, or something and, you know, fold it up several times so you don't mess up your surface. So how long does it take to make a mug? So once you get everything cut out and wrapped around the mug, it's going to take the machine about six minutes to bake that ink into the mug. And there's indicator lights along the top of the machine letting you know the progress. So there's five indicator lights um, and it's letting you know the progress as you go along. And so once that's done and you pick that mug up and you move it to the mat, you're going to want to let it cool completely. And so that's anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. I know what you're thinking, can I shorten that cooling time? Because I was totally thinking that too. Um, and I've tested and played with this a bunch and my answer to you is no. <laughs> go do something else, create another mug, make something else, go do the dishes. But no, don't take um, the wrapper off of the mug too soon because what's gonna happen is you're gonna cheat yourself and you're not gonna get the bright colors that you should be. So it, it right when you take it out, I mean, the ink is gonna be there and you're going to you know get ink but if you pull it off too soon you're going to mess up your design i mean you're not going to get the full effect of cricut infusible ink so let it cool and just find something else to do for a while 
Do I really need to use heat resistant tape? <laughs> yes, sometimes. So when you are using um, the flooded effect and you're using Cricut Infusible ink, you know, just the flooded hole wrapped around it, you're not going to have to use heat resistant tape. And the reason is, is because when they design the templates, it has a little flap that's gonna close and it's gonna keep the, um, the infusible ink sheet on the mug. So you don't have to use the, the tape then. That said, when you want to then add infusible ink pens, that's when you're gonna use heat resistant tape. And when you're um, attaching like your butcher block paper and that kind of thing, so when you're putting something around the mug, then yes, um, heat resistant tape. Do I really need to use a lint roller with my Cricut mug press and my infusible ink? The answer is yes. Make sure you don't skip this step because here's the thing. Infusible ink will stick to anything. You heat it up that hot and you've got anything on that mug, any little piece of, um, you know, dust, anything, it's going to stick, the ink is going to stick to it. And so then whenever you do the big reveal and take the piece off, so then the dust comes off and so does the ink. So then you're going to have, you know, missing pieces of your design, even if it's the smallest thing. Um, if you're like me, you just, you don't want that, especially if you're giving it as a gift. So use, make sure that you absolutely use the lint roller. The box says I need to use this machine in a well ventilated space. So is that really true and is this dangerous? And the answer is yes you do and no it's not. <laughs> so basically guys, um, just think about it. I mean it's a chemical reaction, right? You're putting ink around um, a piece of ceramic and you're putting it in something super, super hot and so it's then you know working its magic and there will be some fumes i mean there will be some smell so what i recommend is you absolutely crack a window turn on the ceiling fan um and, and you know you don't have to be hovering over it while it's working so you know put it in and go do something for a few minutes the the um, notification bells are going to tell you when it's done so you can come and get the mug out so just make sure that yes you are you know working in a well ventilated area and um, that you're taking care, right? Will the paper singe? Um, and the answer is yes. Um, so it's very, very hot. And at the top of the paper, um, it might very well, or the top of the infusible ink, it might very well kind of like look burnt or singe a little bit and that is completely normal and it is not a big deal and no nothing's going to catch on fire um, this thing has been tested over and over and over again um, it's just really really hot and so yeah it is gonna probably you know singe a little bit of that paper but it's completely fine it's not a big deal okay so for the big questions so how much is the Cricut mug press and the short answer of it is it's $1.99 retail price but that's before sales and everything else. So guys, if you want a Cricut mug press, just hang out there and, and keep your eyes open. Sign up for um, the uh, alerts that come from Cricut.com and they will keep you apprised of all the things. And how much are the mug blanks and the infusible ink that's already pre-cut? So they are $5.99 each. So you're gonna be able to get two mugs for $5.99 and then you're gonna be able to get the sheets for $5.99. So really a reasonable price. And again, guys, this is before any sales or coupons. Where can I buy a Cricut mug press? So you're always gonna be able to get everything you need on Cricut.com, always. But for this product, you're also gonna be able to get it at Joann's, at Michael's, at Walmart, at Target. <laughs> you're gonna be able to buy it on HSN. You're gonna be able to find it at Hobby Lobby. So all of your favorite craft stores are going to carry the Cricut Mug Press and all of its accessories. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I hope that's going to help you make a good decision about getting a Cricut mug press. If you have any additional questions, I would love for you to leave them down in the description below and I will do my very best to get those answered for you. And as always, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you next time!